In this video, I will share with you information how to dig foundation and do steel work to build a house like this. When building a house, you read the building plan to get measurement and direction how to build your house. Then the first thing you will need to do is the butter board. The butter board is that board that string around widely around the perimeter of where the house will build. On this board there will be information for the size of the rooms, information where the steel to be run, information how the foundation must be dig. So the butter board is the first critical part of the building. If this part of work does not do right, then you will have error in your building as you go along. This is where you square the buildings. Make sure the size of the room are accurate steel placed in the right position, the blocks lay in the right position and when you do this as come to the information on the building plan there will be accurate and neat work along the way the board is very essential. The butter board will not have any writing on it, just nails and measurements, and that is what you use to build houses, factories, anything. But the professional workman will work out and calculate where to put the proper marker or indicator and what to do. The first set of lines that string on the butter board is the foundation line. So they will string these lines to indicate where and how wide to dig the foundation. The foundation is the first step of your building shaping out what the rooms will be like. The digging of the foundation is very serious. There is a specific measurement to how deep and how wide you dig a foundation. The foundation, if your building is going to be upstairs, are more than one story the deeper the foundation need to be so based on the building plan you will follow the instruction because all instruction will be there on the plan tell you how deep the foundation will dig and this is very serious because when the inspector come and it's not deep enough they will turn the building down they will pass it so the building have to have a specific measurement and depth. After the foundation, here comes the steelwork next. The steelwork will be done to specification according to the building plan. So you will put in the matting first, then your columns and your wall bars and the steelwork is on the way yes yeah, so the steelwork is will be the strength of the building enough steel right amount of columns after the steelwork is complete the perfection columns and wall bars 
in the right position. Here comes the carson of the foundation. The carson of the foundation is when you mix sand, gravel, and cement water to make concrete to set the steel and the column. So they move further move from their position. If your foundation is on a flat piece of land, meaning there is no stone to interfere, the job is much easier. However, if this land is stony, it is a more difficult task. Sometimes require chakama to move some of this stone. Sometimes it's not that hard, so you can use pickaxe and get the job done. So it all depends on the type of land and the location you are doing your foundation. This is just something to remember that some foundation. Land and location where the work is taking place. The casting of the foundation set the pace for the mason for the laying of the blocks. Some workmen will do a good job with the foundation, so the gym, the mason will have an easier way when it's time to lay the block while some workmen work rugged, so it will be more difficult. So it's always best to use professional workman who respect the next workman who will be replaced, uh, who will be work after he leave. That is very important. If you are still watching this video, that made me super happy. Please remember to subscribe, leave a comment and press the like button. Construction work, it is not an easy work, but with a great team and great workman, they always make it look super easy. It is not, but based on experience, and work vibes they will get the job done easily and that is great to save money and time it's the flash that can come off like when I use it's heavy Remember, with the steel work, don't cheat yourself, meaning don't use less steel to be cheap and sorry in the long run when you have a problem in the building, do the writing. Do the writing now and you will never sorry later. Always remember that if some people cut shortcut with the steel because of cheapness sorry in the long run. This is very important. 
I will share some information with you about good sun, bad sun, good gravel, bad gravel. However, this, the buying of sun and gravel depends on who you buy it from. You have to buy it from someone who you can trust. You have sun that's not good. It cannot do no good for your building. You have gravel the same. It is not good and will do no good for your building. These materials are hard to identify. So you need to buy material from someone who are honest and trustworthy. Very important. To spend thousands of dollars on poor material, it's not good. So remember, buy material from reliable source and trustworthy people. If you want to see more video like this, subscribe, press the like button, or leave a comment. Or for more information, see the WhatsApp link below. If you like this video press the link above in this video or below below to see more video like this